in our uh, in our last session we were talking about EAB and we, we got some issues and we rectified and we are loaded and then we notice the amount whatever we input is not updating but plan is assigned to the worker it is two reasons reason one sometimes the web service water we are using may not be updated as per the latest version that time we will see the issues issues a reason two might be the employee employer contribution might be hidden at plan level okay so what we will do that will hold and uh, i will i will take how to remove the plan how to assign the plan eib in our next session okay that will hold because i want to see issue with the eib or or uh, with, i mean plan uh, plan type so today what we will do is maintain benefit coverage so so we have created so far additional retirement insurance health care today we'll we'll create these two plans and we'll pick up open enrollment from tomorrow okay i don't think we have created insurance insurance are not created oh, no, it? Not. oh thanks for reminding then is it okay yeah even i'm seeing that right sir agree so oh. and this is probably one area that we might want to spend a little bit more time exactly um, so target. Is, yeah a bit, bit complex there's different insurance there's different um rate and other things that are involved with it so yeah i mean this is one area that i would like you to spend a little bit more time on definitely definitely thank you for it uh, so i'm under the assumption but for what we created relationships and also for healthcare we did healthcare yeah we did not do insurance okay 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 actually healthcare also required dependence insurance also required dependence okay it's my bad thanks for highlighting that another problem so definitely it will take more time uh, two or three sessions for sure okay so let's create this these two plans also today's session and tomorrow we'll pick up insurance and then we'll proceed to the open enrollment okay okay right so hsa uh the spending account is, is exclusive for usa not for any other country that have seen this falls under flexible spending account either of the plan employee can choose and contribute and employee at the at the end cannot be grouped the contribution amount for both okay so let's see how to create them straightforward and straightforward only thing only thing was per year how much the employee can pay based on the number of paychecks we have to define okay let's create spending account i will create one benefit cover benefit uh, uh provider for this or uh, let's reuse metlife easy okay i'm going sorry let me start here let's just say i'll create one coverage type Order one, AMD, seventh account. So we would like to allow beneficiary. Require. It asks mandatory and then select required. So it will manage you to enroll dependents, declare as a beneficiary of dependence data not applicable means not applicable optional means employee can choose or can skip so now i select a required icon so let's just say represent hot symbol and this we already discussed these are the standard for all the coverage types so let's say only one election display employee employer cost we are not using for year end so ignore this one similarly parallel i will create another coverage type also To be honest, based on the workbook, we will create what is the purpose, not away <laughs> when our customers care. So, okay. AMD, let me call it a pending account itself. 
are flexible Let's mark it as required. All right. And uh, yeah, let's say this is for Cobra. So now remember, I'm selecting Cobra because at uh, once we discuss all our topics, we will also go to discuss about Cobra. They will will play around this plan. I enable Cobra here. Okay. Okay, so now you please help me. We created a benefit coverage type. So what is the next task you have to create? Okay, no problem. Let's create benefit plan. Provider will select NetLife. Plan type, let's select. First, we'll do health savings account. We'll include employee and dependents, health savings account, MD health savings, no plan, no descriptions, participating benefit group USA. Let me see whether I set the right one. So today we'll talk about worker plan eligibility rule, currency, USD, frequency, let me say monthly. Same the benefit group, and then who are all eligible? Employee plus family. So if you want to include employee, spouse, etc. So let's select the only employee family here. If it is an employee, maximum employee can contribute around uh, uh, per per annum, right? This per month will take twenty uh, fifty dollars. Minimum is. Ten dollars. Employer also contributing standard amount of twenty five dollars. Selling it to the family, hundred is the maximum, and minimum is uh, since it's a family twenty dollars. Employer contribution is straight forward twenty five. Okay. So straight forward plans are any questions here. Okay, answering no questions. Just a second. Did you scroll up? This is the flexible spending account. Right. So health let's savings. just oh, health savings a, account. Let's just say by law you're you are allowed to contribute $2,500 per year. So, so can you please repeat again? So let's just say you are allowed to contribute $2,500 per year as an employee. Right. And 5,000 as a family. That's the maximum you can do yearly contribution. Right. Let's just say your employer is gonna provide $1,000 of that. Mm -hmm. And then you can you can contribute the remaining however you wish to. How okay. You okay. Okay. That there are two options for that, sir. Option one, the deduction earning for this uh, payroll. Okay. Or whenever assign the plan, it will ask you what is the number of paychecks 
want to contribute this amount. I will show that one. Let's just but, twenty. Let's just say twenty-six paychecks. They're on a biweekly. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, can you? I'm sorry. Can you repeat the question again, if you don't mind? So let's just say for employee, by you know, this is what the rule is here, where for you can only contribute twenty five hundred dollars per year as an employee. Maximum contribution. Maximum contribution. Mm. However, the if you sign up for this, the employer is going to pay thousand dollars, and you as mm. an employee can contribute up to twenty five hundred dollars. Okay, can I put it in this way? Employee employer can contribute maximum of thousand dollars, so two thousand five hundred dollars per annum. Combine is twenty five hundred thousand from employer, and the remaining fifteen hundred dollars can come from the employee. Okay, makes sense. Let's do one thing. I will go with the employee to give an understanding. So minimum an employee so two thousand five hundred, and he is a biweekly. You are saying right? Let's change the frequency to biweekly. Okay, just a second. So, two thousand five hundred dollars, thousand is employee, which means fifteen hundred dollars by employee in twenty-four paychecks divided by 24. twenty-six on biweekly. Okay. So it'll be fifty-seven dollars sixty-nine cents per 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 pay period. Okay. Can I say average fifty-seven dollars? Okay. All right. So let's yeah. see, sir. Mm, so minimum sixty dollars. I'm sorry, it is maximum, right? Maximum one paycheck cost if it's flexible to pay. Let's say okay, thousand five hundred dollars as his maximum can contribute. Minimum he can contribute fifty-seven, no? fifty fifty-seven US dollars. Mm -hmm. And wouldn't minimum be zero dollars? So they're up to them if they want to contribute anything, right? So they can contribute up to fifteen hundred dollars. Right. So two options, sir. One is you want to make mandate employee has to contribute. Flexibility, if you give absolutely the plan itself, flexible employee can contribute anytime, but it should not be more than this much, right? Correct. Go with your solution. I'll go with zero. And employer contribution is maximum of thousand dollars. Correct. Let me give it as zero here. I will update at the worker level. Now let me first. I want to check test this one to clarify, even for me learning. So I will proceed with the rest of the task. Create event. Create benefit event. Mm -hmm. So usually there's not an HSA event. A benefit Sorry? event would be something marriage, new hire, open enrollment. Uh, go ahead, go ahead. Let me repeat your, can you repeat your question again? So I'm just saying uh, normally there's not an event type called H HSA. Mm -hmm. There's usually an event, right? There's open enrollment event, there's a new hire oh. event, there's a marriage event. The birth right. of a child event. Right. I'm not sure why you're putting HSA event there. Right. Okay. That so. doesn't. That doesn't. Yeah. There, I mean, it doesn't exist. As I mentioned, oh, uh, one second. Reasons are not marriage, date of birth, new hire, change of company. This one, HSA. Or if I find, I can change this name to, let's call it as flexible. I'm going to include my HSA FSA here, okay? And coming to this event, even
people have this plan for an employee or anything. When you, for example, I'm a certain employee, I mean, any marriage, so an employee has married and they want to enroll into flexible spending account. I will tag this coverage type under marriage. Uh, I want to assign this plan to an employee at the time of hiring. I will assign this coverage type under hiring event. Event you can configure anything, sir. Only uh, the reason, like why are you assigning the plan? Okay. Why are you removing the plan? That is defined by this event. And sometimes I may want to assign this plan. I gave an opportunity, opportunity to an employee to enroll through the uh, open enrollment. But unfortunately, the employee has not enrolled into the plan through the open enrollment window has been closed. Now the employee came back and asking us, hey, I forgot to enroll myself, the window has been closed. So alternatively, I have two options. One thing I have initiated admin correction. Another thing I can create a standalone benefit event type and enroll these two plans to an employee. Right, these are called placeholders. Uh, any questions? Sir? Sorry, questions? No, I'm just getting a bit confused here. Um, okay, okay, don't worry, don't worry. Let me do one thing. Can you see this? It's just a contribution. Yeah. So like that, we will create sir, different events. Okay. If I want to change the contribution chain, let's say I will take your scenario. Employee is supposed to contribute thousand five hundred US dollars due to some time thing, some commitments. He agreed to pay at the month. So we should we need some event, correct? Correct. So we need some place to adjust, correct? So that's yeah. the reason we can stand all on one, sir. HSA. Okay, makes sense. Right. So again, I also agree your statement that absolutely true. If you have different customers have different requirements, so sometimes they will go with the standard ones. They can do correction through admin correction also. In that case, you don't need any additional coverage type at all. Up to their requirement, how they want. Okay. Got right. Merit benefit. Hmm. No. 